All right, fuckers and fuckettes, what we're looking at here is a weird vehicle. It's a, um, what is it? A shuttle. It's a shuttle for around town here, I guess, in Venice? Venice, yes, it is. Wait a minute, get your thing there to where... Oh. Venice Street Legal. So you can rent these. Oh, you can rent them. You can rent them. This is a four-seater, and on this, that also has fishing rod holders. Four-seater? It looks right. like six. Well, this is our six-seater. Oh, the prices are for a four-seater. This okay. is our prices for our four-seater. We have a fleet of them. And the back goes down if you don't have four people, so you can go fishing on it, because we've got six holders for rods, fishing rods. And you can put all your gear and your bait and everything else up there and just go for it. That's Jen, wherever you like to go on the island. Cool. Yeah. And this service here is a free service for downtown Venice. So that we shuttle people from A to B safely. It's a free service? It's a free service. You can advertise on it if you'd like, which we would hope that you would. We have available space for advertising. Me advertise? I got too much business the way it is. Well, I think that's you're very fortunate. I think that's wonderful. Um uh, I've been at it for uh, How long? all my life. <laughs> really? So you're yeah. a true Floridian and you've been down here a long time? No, I'm from Alabama. No kidding. Um, but I retired in 2000. They forced me to retire. And I came down here. I was going to gather seahorses like my granddad did and found out you needed all kind of licenses and stuff. And I, I got all, jumped through all the hoops, got all the licenses. And pretty much, yeah. Yeah. They don't make it easy for you to start a business. Well, you got to make fuck, 30000 a year just to stay afloat. And I had all these motorcycles. I've got 81,000 square feet of motorcycles. But I had all these motorcycles. I just sat down one day and decided, you know what? I'm going to sit down and I'm going to play with my damn motorcycles. <laughs> and you're enjoying it. Yeah. And that's half of it right there. you got to do something like it. What is yeah. this little thing? Well, that's what she was just explaining. This is a shuttle. And it's one that we have, my son and I, my company. And we have it for the island. And we did it primarily to get people like ourselves and the Nianpoli and everybody else from A to B. It's safe, you know. And it's, it's worked out very nice. You know, Exclusively the only thing, on the island? Yes. And uh, what we need to go for right now is we're looking for a That's a really a good idea. Yeah. And people are enjoying it, you know. And, and they're so sharp-looking rigs. We need to get the advertising from, you know, everyone on Main Street. And it's really helping, and it helps idea. with the parking issue. Uh, yeah, well, it can you know. use some help. And then we have our street people that sets more. So you can rent those for the day, the month, six months, a year, whatever you want to do. You know. And when you figure that you plug it in, it's all electric. It's 14 cents a day compared to what it charges for gas. They don't need to control it. <laughs> yeah, the last time I went over there, it was incredible. You know, and what amazes me is people use the crosswalk. They don't even look. And everybody jaywalks. They don't use him for yeah. crosswalks. Yeah. And the people that are driving, they're in such a hurry to go nowhere yeah. that they basically cluster up right over the walk so nobody can move. Yeah. It's crazy. I was, I was sitting here with this puppy for 35 minutes. I just shut it off, sat down, picked up my book, sat there like yeah, so yeah, this. Anytime you go. you're ready, you know, one oh, police yeah. officer for the sit for downtown, and she's supposed to handle it all. Yeah. So I called, I finally got Peg's number, and I said, Peg, I says, I'm over here at Centennial Park. We have a free fender bender. You got it. You're kidding me, she says. Or she wasn't that terrible. Nice. You got it. <laughs> so I said, yeah, and I said, I'm telling everybody, just exchange your credit cards and get the heck out of here. Your charge cards and get, you know, not your, your insurance cards yeah. and get out of here, right? Well, without the police report. Everybody was going down where they had come up with 
come up the wrong way because they couldn't see the, the yellow thing, which was half scrubbed away. You know, so I got the city to paint those, and I said, paint them with some luminous paint so people at night can see them. Yeah. Did they oh, do yeah. it? No. So what happened on the first night of the opening of the theater? Yeah, no. Two acts. Boom. Yeah. Well, that's crazy there. I, I hate going over there. That's no fun. Off season. And even off season now. Hell, I hate going down 41 with all these fucking roadblocks. No kidding. The other the the other night they got me they got me again with one. You know I went through it, handed uh -huh. them my license, my registration. Well. Don't have to have insurance on a bike, okay. and I don't. <laughs> but uh, he didn't know it, so you know you better ask one of your buddies. I don't need no fucking insurance on a bike. But uh, at the end of it, I pile. <laughs> 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 I'm Jew I'm Jewish making Nazi jokes yeah, right, but I know. That's all right. uh, But I actually did. I mean, you know, it pisses me off to no end. I moved down here because this coast was not like the other coast. No. That's why we moved here too. We came all the way down from Jersey Coast and went all the way. And uh, and when I came over the bridge I said I think we're home. So that's the way that's what happened to me. Yeah. I liked it. Yeah. Really liked it here. And uh, it just you know just in the years that I've lived on the island now, it's like, what the hell are these guys thinking? You know, it, everybody has their own venue on the city council. Are they after really what the city needs? And of course, the problem is, in their three years that they're on it, they're cleaning up the mess from the other guy. And really, the city should not vote on it. People that are in the group, if you're serving three years, somebody there on that group should become mayor. Why? Because he already knows what the screw-up is, no. and he knows what he has no, to do. No, the mayor should always be a neutral outside the local city government. And if he's been on the board, if he's the mayor and he doesn't want to be a mayor, that's fine. So choose somebody else on that board that's been there for three years, that knows all the shit that's coming down, that knows what's going to happen. No. Be voted on. The only way to I keep the corruption, the only way to keep the corruption down is to keep them from running and running and running and running. It's not a career, it's an honor to have one of those positions. Right. Yeah. And, you know. But they don't look at it that way. Yeah, they look at it as they, they're fucking career politicians. And, you know, the one, um, he's actually one of my customers. He was sitting there telling me how they're working with the state patrol. And, you know, every holiday they're going to fuck it up with a bunch of these roadblocks. Memorial Day, you know. DUI checkpoints. Well, one of them DUI checkpoints made me fucking 15 minutes late the other day. Cost me a damn customer. There you go. They just yeah. don't sit the picture, do they? I'm going down to pick up a bike. Uh-huh. And, you know, the guy's waiting on me, waiting on me. He gave up. One of his buddies showed up with a fucking pickup. As far as I'm concerned, State Patrol really needs to pay for that tow call because I wasted my gas getting halfway down there. Well, I got all the way down there. but. Yep. Halfway down there, and there, 15 minutes is what costed me that guy with this pickup showing up. And we did a film one night, 11 minutes going through a damn checkpoint with her. You know, she was driving the van. Yeah. 11 minutes. And they say that they don't inhibit traffic. They're full of shit. And then what's really bad is they'll have them backed up for a half a mile or so. So you turn off to take a shortcut home, they're yeah. going to pull you over thinking that you're trying to duck their roadblock. Get out! Yeah. <laughs> well, nice you know, and I, they, they, did that to, they did that to me. I was three blocks from the house. Three, from your home? Yeah, they went that night that they added up right there at Jacaranda in 41. Yeah. It was backed up to 776. I just took, hooked a right on uh, South Venice Boulevard. Well, I guess they didn't know that I lived back there. They probably thought I really was trying to avoid them. But I mean, That's, that ain't the Florida. That ain't the Florida I came down to every summer when I was a kid. Anyway, we'll holler at you later. I like that thing. Well, thank you, and it was a pleasure meeting you both. Well, same and here. I'm at a point to stop it when you hear me honking. <laughs> All right. All right. Oh, yeah, it's really quiet. All right, y'all fuckers and fuckheads later. It's electric. <laughs>